When it comes to sales and being in sales, what does content creation have to do with items like the closers contest? And why should it matter to you as a salesperson? This is an important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell, coming live from Sacramento, California, on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Now, here's the thing. If you are in sales and you've been in the industry for a while, one of the coolest things that you can do is create your own content. And so there is tons of ways for you to do this. Let's start with number one. One is training wheels. So you find somebody's content, you take it, you adopt it, you make it own, but you credit the person that you get it from. Okay. So like there's tons of content that I found from all sorts of different sales trainers, coaches, mentors out there, but I do everything possible to say, Hey, here's who I got it from. Two, you start correlating content between two or three different people and say, how can I make it better? What could I do to modify it to make it my own? Three, you record it. And then you have the capability of listening to it, going through, validating that information. You might hand it off to a couple of people, a couple of friends and say, hey, tell me what you think about this. You know, do these word tracks work for you? Does this, does this process sound sound to you? Would you use this if it was you? Could you use it if it was you? And then you take that information and you're like, okay, I, I gathered intel from other people. I have taken the processes. I've given credit where credit's due. I have modified and adapted and made the information good. And I, I validate it by giving it to friends. Now, the reason I bring this up is currently, as of today, there is a contest for salespeople to go present at a sales conference, at a motivational conference, at a mastermind conference. You could pick the name. There's multiple different names for it. But, you know, Ryan Stuman's putting this thing on, Closer Contest. And I'm sitting here and I'm looking at people have all this opportunity. And I'm like, why? Why would somebody not apply? Why would somebody say, like, I, this isn't something that I'm willing to do? And I, I just jotted down a couple of notes. And one of the reasons was like, hey, lack of content, lack of information, lack of the ability to explain strategies, word tracks, abilities, closing techniques, motivational information. And it's not just sales. It could be motivational content. You could have been like a million things went wrong in your life and you were able to do one thing and you were able to find success or you may be able to find 80 things besides success. Like I'm not just trying to narrow it down and just like, yeah, it's just one thing. But if you're going to, if you're going to be engaged, there's always going to be contests where people say, Hey, I want you to do a specific task. And, uh, part of that is to come up with strategies, contents, and information that you could present in front of a group. Now I will tell you 12 years ago, when I first started doing YouTube videos, I was absolutely terrified. I was horrible, but I kept putting up YouTube videos. I kept putting up podcasts. I kept speaking in front of rooms. I kept speaking in front of groups because I knew eventually it would click. And so here's the thing, your ability to speak on other stages allows for you to be introduced to other people, other information, other influencers, other groups of people. And you know, the thing to remember too is, let's say that you do win this event. Let's just say that like for right now today, you know, Ryan Stuman's Closer event, you win this event. You have the capability of saying, yes, I won. Like being on that stage is a handshake. Like, look, this person's valid. They've got information. They can share it with you. They're good at what they do, you know, even though it's their first time. And so like sometimes salespeople will tell me, hey, Scott, but you know, what if I share somebody else's information? All right. Tell somebody, look, I got this from fill in the blank. And I really like the way that they presented it, but I'm going to give it a different twist. They say left, right, left, like a combination rock. I'm going to go right, left, right. I'm just going to give you a different variation of it. So should you enter events like the Closers Contest? Absolutely. It makes you better as a salesperson. It allows you to close deals. It allows you to be known. It allows for awesome things to happen. So is it cool for Ryan Stuman to do that? Absolutely, because it allows for people like, me, like you, like anybody else who has a really cool story, really cool capability to get on stage and present in front of other people. There you go. You've got one of three things to do from here. You could like the video, which is always cool. You could, thumbs up. You could subscribe if you've never subscribed before. I think I have 2,500 something videos at this point. Or even cooler, share with a friend. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you soon. Mahalo.